YouTubers, Greg here again at GDB Rescue and Recovery. So, got the merchandise on, it's a little bit cold outside, and we've got a job on, which we've got 50 minute travel time to do a winch out. So, quick little bit of story time, long story short, a chap taxi has gone up some type of road, dropped off a passenger, and got stuck on his way back, no problem. Got a local, local recovery truck, went up there, got him out, but then apparently he started steering it left or right from what the recovery guy said, and he's ended up in a ditch. So, yeah, time for us to go out in the 4v4s and get this customer out. I will attach a little photo below of the Ford Focus in question, which is a little bit down a ditch. As you know, sending one vehicle is not always best when it's down a verge because you might have to pull it so far and it carries on down the ditch. Whereas if we've got two winches because there are no trees opposite the car, we can try and pull a bit of the bum, a bit of the front and hopefully get it out. So, as you know, I've had so much on the lift. I have not had time to fit the winch bumper on the Jeep but believe you and me, she's there. That is not a body, that is definitely a winch bumper. I've already got all my new battery cables to be installed for the battery in the boot. Got the new battery under there, which I've still yet to install. Got our walkie-talkie radios for communication between me and Danny today. Uh, as you can see, winch is all nice and ready on there. <coughs> Going into the Nissan Navara. I've got everything all at the ready, I've got my shackles, my walkie-talkie, got cameras, YouTube equipment, gloves, PPE, got my incident slow signs, we've got J-Orks, we've got soft straps, we've got shackles, we have got all the gear, and as some of you might say, he's got no idea. <laughs> well anyway, we're going to go up there now, uh, top part of Stoke-on-Trent up near Biddulph, Biddulph in the Moors I think it's called, um, and yeah, let's get this customer out and try and make a little video of it, because I know I've not posted many videos recently, so yeah, I'm going to try to do it today. I've got a little bit of motivation in me, so let's get a little bit on the OG YouTube channel, considering we are nearly at 7,000 subscribers, and the merchandise, don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try for Sunday night. I'm going to try for Sunday night, but I will give you as much notice as possible, okay? Right, that's it for now. Danny should be here in a minute and we're going to be flying out at the speed of sound doing no more than 70 miles an hour to get to the job. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, YouTubers, just arriving in Biddulph now. ETA 12 minutes, 3.8 miles.
be up, we've got enough power to pull that out. Yeah. Right, let's have a look what we're dealing with. <coughs> Okay, so we have got some stability there. What happened in the first place? What? Stuck in there. You know, what, in, in the grass bit? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like this way. Yeah. The recovery guy came. Yeah. He pulled out, he managed to pull out. He right. Put the car here. Right. So, you know, obviously we can't get through. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to get worse. Oh, yeah. Jesus. And then pulled back. Okay. So when the car came here, yeah. it was so much snow, now it's melting. Jesus. But when I was here, I stopped the car. Right. And I said, right, I can't do more to, to help me again. Got you. So the car was here, but when he started pulling... Ah, oh, it's put you in it. There, you know, right. No, the car wasn't there. Oh dear. The car was here. Got you. Okay. That's it. No worries, we'll get it sorted. Pulling that car back towards our centre, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I thought obviously he knows back. We don't know. But we ended up like. Oh dear. Like, you know, very small problem. And now a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know what the company was like to spy me on. Now, what I'm going to. The gonna... problem, RAC, they were saying sounds great. Now we're. Oh, Ray, see, they'll class it as an accident anyway. Uh, yeah, they are the best of the best. What I think I'm going to do with this, because it's already going downhill and that's the end of the ditch, the car's already bottomed out anyway and there's no rocks within this grass face. Yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is just reverse it in this water a little bit, but then what I'm going to have to do is try and pull that wheel over here because we've got yeah, this bit of a branch. Yeah. That's the big one, which I don't like. The other little ones are okay at rubbing it, so it's already in them now, but I don't want to pull it backwards and then start hitting that cat's a strong tree. And that could obviously do damage to their bodywork and windows. So I think the safest option, I'm going to go off that back corner, just pull it a little bit this way, see how it fares. Yeah. And then if the front end's going in, we can then pull it with that Jeep to pull it back out the way of that tree. That's what I want to try and avoid. But it, obviously this loose stuff, this is fine. That won't do any damage to the car. And then it will come out of the ditch here anyway. So, because this is all nice and uh, that's a nice way to come out. But just that branch is my only scary part. So, what I'm going to do, put a couple of warning signs out just in the meantime and then we'll crack on and get it sorted, mate. Nice, so if you want to stay in that car, keep nice and warm, mate. Right. If you want to chuck one of these behind your Jeep quite a bit, Danny. Just as far up the road as you can, ideally. I'll give you a traffic cone, Danny, just to put next to it. Give you that one as well. Just shut that next to it. Has there been many cars passing or not? Yeah, many cars. Just one or two yeah. since then, you know. It wasn't much. Fair enough. We'll be as quick as we can, but if they do come around, that's to get them to turn around and then. Yeah, yeah. If I get the specs and wear back here off the winch, it's going to stay in that picture. Yeah, we might have a bit of play room. All I can do is watch. If you have to take it back forwards after, take it back forwards after. I'll put that down here, sorry. Don't you get falling over on camera, boy. That down here, sorry. Don't you get falling over on camera, boy. Oh, we can do this. 
try at the end of the day. Right, I'm just going to press the winch a few clicks, Dan. Just going to have a quick visual. Right, gonna winch a bit more.
I'm going to do now, Dan, I'm going to bring your Jeep forward. I just want to see if I can just cheat this front end come a little bit over. You just stay there.
What I'm going to do is reposition myself back a bit. I'm going to try and swing this back end over. That's going, that is. That's going. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. This back cover will come off in a minute.
That was a scary thing, you could pull it back a bit too much and bang and smash the window. So, all we've lost is one plastic wheel trim. Oh no, I've got it Eddie, I've got it already, I've put it on his back seat. Because right. I didn't want it, the wheel nuts are a bit rounded off and I don't want to take the wheel nuts off in case I don't go back through the on again. That's all. Yeah, so you have to take the wheel nuts off, but then wheel nuts, they're uh, rounded. So, uh, how these are, whoever's took your wheels off last time would really give it a good hiding. And I don't like that, and that one's quite bad as well. That's a different nut, and that's a different nut. So, uh, just keep that trim off for now. Right, if you want to get your signs in cozy, just chuck them in the Jeep for now, mate. So, to be fair, that's not actually... Uh... You've got water in your car. There's water here. another job bites the dust hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of content on that one that is obviously the method that we used on that particular job to get the vehicle recovered and out as you saw on one of the clips that I've added in I would have normally took the wheel nuts off to take the plastic cover off the wheel but then wheel nuts were rounded so I advise the customer that the plastic cover may snap it may come off it may break um, and the answer is yes it did it came off but I made sure the customer's aware, so it was no unexpected issues, for example, when you get a customer that moans that you broke something. If you always let them know the process and why you've got to do it, they understand. It's a plastic cover. It'll probably go back on, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, that's good. Um, obviously, as you saw, 
I had to try and keep the vehicle away from that tree branch because that was a little bit sketchy. I did not want that to be scraping on the vehicle at all. So click by click, little bit by bit on the winch line. And then obviously ended up doing the standard technique for pulling a vehicle out of a ditch, which most times you've got both wheels, both arms, pull it out um, sideways. Um, but I've also got to be very careful with how much pressure that you do put through because you don't want to be snapping wheels, snapping arms and all the rest. So clip by clip, little bit by bit, bit of handbrake on, handbrake off, little bit of a wheel spin, well not wheel spin, but a little bit of movement off the front wheels to assist and uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I've not posted in ages, but hey, we're getting back into the swing of things now. Um, and yeah, could not have done that vehicle really. Probably could have done it on my own, but it's a lot more faffing with disconnecting a winch and backwards and forwards where that way, it was ideal doing it. So very happy. But yeah, thanks for the subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thanks to everyone that's still here and watching. Uh, merchandise is coming available very soon and maybe we have some t-shirts as well to be added in we have got t-shirts there's going to be two different styles so yeah limited quantities small 20 medium 20 large 20 for now if i find out that they do start to sell i'll get some more um yeah thank you very much guys and girls thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one over and out